MK, you've been doing training with him from his football club. It started as a little project to get Indian community involved in football. From there on, it grew into a small junior football club, which was New Bombs Football Club. Just the base of all Indian kids. Indian community is a very new migrant community. But now it's open for everyone. All are welcome to join this club and to grow this club for the future. Another five years, we'll have uh, one of the kids play AFL. I like it because it feels like the easiest sport. You can kick, you can handball, you can do whatever you want with the footy. I started when I was about five or six. When I'm older, I would like to play footy in the women's league. I think girls and boys should play equally. And I don't think boys are more special than girls. But with the modern India, it's changing. The girls are more upfront. They're doing pretty much everything. They're working, they're participating in sports, and they're playing at a very elite level. So it is changing. Most of us came as students, and then slowly, slowly, we, we like the culture, we like the way of living, and then we merged in, into this society. And then now we are fully settled, fully Australians, playing footy, watching our kids play footy. I like games as well, but, but my, my parents, they didn't support me much to play games. They didn't want me to stay outside home, you know, so I couldn't do much. But I want my kids to play football. Most of the Punjabi uh, community came to Craigieburn because of, of the temple. Here is a Sikh temple in Craigieburn. So the, the basic principle of Sikh religion is that everybody is equal. And that's why we have all sit in the ground. So nobody's above any religion. It's open for everyone. Any religion, any person can come in. They can eat free food. And if they are in trouble or anything, they can come in and ask for help as well. Okay. When I saw the AFL W match, I felt like I could be one of those when I grew, grew up. <laughs> and I felt really proud of the woman, like, actually doing it. We're going to go for the women's match today. So we're excited. We'll have dinner together and then we'll go. We're looking at a girl playing match. Yes. Wait for me so bad. What the heck? <laughs> Excuse me? I never said that. So you just say that you're <laughs> So they control the midfield, actually, you know, so last year. We won pretty much everything. Yeah, suck. Almost all the girls and plus one boy is in midfield. Yeah. And it's always either us two or one of them two girls actually helping the team to win. Yeah. Alright, are you guys ready guys? Yeah. So tonight we are all gathering together as a group and we're gonna go to the Australian rules women's football match. It's going to be a great night. We're looking forward to it. We haven't been to the women's football match yet, so it's going to be fun. Are we there yet? Yeah. Nearly there, I think. Nearly there. Yeah. Sure. What, how much do you win? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 It is a very exciting time for the girls, and now when they see the girls playing football at a very big level, so they get encouraged. I think it's a great uh, platform. Uh, I mean, it's uh, giving uh, girls the opportunity to participate in their game. You can say, you know, I mean, uh, it's a family. The girls are not sitting on the fence and watching their brothers kick a footy, but now they got an opportunity to play themselves.